Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over the official guide for Pokemon Infinite Fusion on Android. I am Mega Man, the tech manager for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, so all of the items that I give you today are going to be the authentic version to play and download the game. The written guide that I'm sharing here on the screen right now is always going to be the most up-to-date guide. I am constantly updating this daily if I change anything with the version, sprites, joy play, all of that is going to be reflected in the written guide. And this video is just going to be supporting that. So if you see that the written guide looks a little bit different, please trust what the written guide says because this is always going to be up to date. So now I'm going to put this guide here in the description of the video. And I'm also going to put the links that we're getting from this guide in the description of the video in case you don't want to open up this guide. But this guide also contains all of the other fixes that we have for any issue on Android. So if you have any issues or any errors, look at this written guide. It has the fix for it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is scroll down to how do I install the game. And what you need to do is uninstall any version of Joyplay or RPG Maker that you do have. This game does not work with specific versions of Joyplay. It only works with actually a specific version of Joyplay. Um, the ones that I provide are the only ones that work. Everything else, even the newest, latest version of Joyplay that came out three weeks ago, does not work because it actually crashes the game when using some moves like Flash and Thunderbolt. So please make sure to uninstall any versions that you have. Um, next, what you want to do, sorry, <laughs> is go down to step two. And we're going to go ahead and download here. And let's click on this, click on Mediafire, click on this blue button, and that's going to start downloading the zip for you. Next, what we want to do is scroll down to step three and download Joyplay and RPG Maker. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. The next, what we want to do is go ahead and download RAR Extractor Tool from Google Play. If you have your own way to extract zip files, go ahead and use that. But I'm personally going to use this one from Google Play. Okay. So once you get here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click install and just wait for that to be installed. Then go ahead and click on open. Go ahead and click on allow, click dismiss, and let's go ahead and go to your download folder. This is where all the zip files are going to go to when you download them over the internet. So what you want to do, and I'm not going to do it exactly the way you have to do it because I already have them extracted, but I'm going to show you what you would do. So what you want to do is you want to long tap on the zip for PIF Android plugins. Then you want to go ahead and click the top option here, extract to PIF Android plugins and click that. Once you do that, it'll create this folder for you. Go ahead and do the exact same thing for Infinite Fusion Android. Long tap this, click Extract to Infinite Fusion Android, and it's going to create this folder. After that, we do not need to use this tool anymore, so let's go ahead and close it. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to your Android and use the File Explorer. You might, it, all, it might also be called Files, it might also be called a maze like it is on mine, but it's basically the, the app that lets you browse the different files that you have on your Android. Usually it's going to look like this when you open it. You might have a download folder here on the left side which makes it easy for you, but if you don't, you'll be taken to something like this and you have to scroll down and click on download. From there, you will see the folders that you have or that we just extracted. So let's go ahead and install the plugins first. So click on this folder, then go to Joyplay. Click on that and hit install. Hit install and it'll install Joyplay for you. Go ahead and click done. Next, let's do the same thing for RPG Maker. Click on that, click install, click install, and it'll install it for you. Click done and we are done with this. Let's go ahead and close this out. You'll see Joyplay and RPG Maker here on your home screen. So let's go ahead and click on Joyplay. And let's go to the very end, hit I accept, hit I accept, hit OK. When it asks you for permissions, make sure to allow them. If not, this will not work. Click here on the outside, and bam, you are in the home page of Joyplay. Click on the plus button, add a game, choose. Then from here, same deal what we did with extraction and finding your plugin folder and all that stuff. Scroll down to download. Go ahead and go to Infinite Fusion Android. Infinite Fusion Android, scroll down and click on game.exe. Go ahead and hit choose, Infinite Fusion, hit next, 
version, let's go ahead and put 6.2.1, which is the current version. If it's a newer version than this, go ahead and put that in there. Hit next, hit next, and bam, you are done. Let's go ahead and click on Infinite Fusion, hit allow. It's going to check in for plugins, it's going to start loading, and the game should pop up. If you do get a pop-up that says you need to download some external version of RPG Maker XP, the written guide does have instructions on how to do that. So don't be worried if you get another pop-up that you need to download something else. But bam, you can go ahead and click on enter here. And you will be on the latest version of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. And bam, you are done. So next thing I'm going to show you really quick is just how to make some changes to Joyplay. So if you want to change the controls, go ahead and click on the three buttons here in the top right. Click on settings, then go to gamepad settings. And this is what you want to use to be able to change any of the control layouts that you have. Um, I will be putting in the written description what all of these button means because it's a little bit different for this game and not every button is the same way like Nintendo game controllers are. So that's what I'm gonna put in there. The next thing I'm gonna show you is where you would put your save file if you have an existing save file that you wanna put on your Android. So what you wanna do is you wanna go and download that file onto your Android. So let me go ahead and put a save file on my Android really quick, just so I can show you what that would look like. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a save file into my files. So pretend like you just downloaded a save file. So go to your maze app, go back to storage, go to downloads, and this is your save file here. This is what the save file will always look like for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. So if you have a prior version, this is what it's going to look like in your prior version of your game. So what you want to do is you want to long tap this, and you can click on the copy button up here on the top right. Alternatively, you should be able to click on this button here and hit copy as well. Then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to Infinite Fusion Android folder, then go here where it says save files go in this folder. This folder here where game.exe is, this is exactly where you wanna put your save file. So at the very top of this folder, you should actually see a paste button. If you don't see this paste button, click on the top three buttons here and it should you should be able to do grid view, make it look like this. And what you can do is you can um, click on paste here, but I think you should be able to. Um, oh, here, this plus button. Sorry, I don't know why I didn't see that, uh, but you should be able to. Hmm, OK. I don't know how to paste <laughs> other than this button. I thought there was a way you can long tap it, but if not, that's fine. What you can do is just click on paste up here and you should see now your file A is there. So let me go back to the other view, scroll down and you will see file here with game.exe. And that's all you need to do. All you need to do is move your save file to this folder. So now if I open up Joyplay and I open the game, So let me go ahead and open the game. It's going to start loading. Okay, the title screen. I hit enter. And now you should see my save file here. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, the same thing would happen with updating the game too. Um, to update the game, unfortunately, there are no updaters for Android. So what you need to do is that whenever there is a new update for Android, you need to go ahead and go back to the written guide, go back to step two, and you need to re-download this folder. When you re-download that folder, this is gonna be your new game file. So what you need to do is you need to move your save file into that folder, the same exact way that we just did it here. You need to be able to go into here, click copy, and then what we want to do is navigate to the new folder that you just downloaded and paste it. And that'll be your new folder, basically. It just sucks, but the game is not developed for Android. So that's just kind of what we're limited to. But all right, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the description and I'll 
definitely help you out or let me know on discord and i'll help you out there too i'll talk to you guys later